Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 16th of July comes to you from London. Uh, the dollar fell back a little bit on Friday, just coming back to uh, fine cloud support, so the strong dollar is still dominating um, a little bit there. And then the euro strengthened a bit on Friday, but of course is still bearish below the cloud, conversely the dollar, these downside targets against the US dollar still in train. Looking at uh, the dollar yen, uh, we see that uh, it didn't fall back as much so that strong dollar has really been maintained and we're seeing uh, the dollar turning long-term bullish against the yen above the cloud there so bullish on all three time frames the dollar yen chart tends to be a bit of a lead indicator for the dollar so this does imply uh, for me that the dollar is going to go higher against most other currencies longer term and if we look at sterling uh, sterling did recover a little bit on friday as well but hitting resistance now in the short term chart we're sitting at uh, 132.23 uh, we've got downside targets to 129 so it does look like we will go uh, lower than the 130 level. Uh, looking at uh, euro against sterling, just slightly stronger on the sterling uh, against the euro uh, on the short term, medium term still bearish. And against the Swiss franc, sterling actually had a quite a good recovery on Friday as well. It's the Aussie dollar sitting at 178, uh, just the uh, Aussie dollar having the slight upper hand against sterling. Looking at Bitcoin, uh, we did actually recover a little bit into the short term um, bull trend on uh, Friday, but uh, we are still bearish medium and long term on Bitcoin and these targets to 5,100 are hanging over us. Uh, looking at the Swiss, uh, the S&P 500 index, uh, on Friday we were up very slightly uh, and it did bring a strong week in in the end so we are just making new multi-month highs the first time really that we've been back at these uh, levels seen back in March uh, so the S&P is still below its uh, start of the year level by some way um, and if we look at the Nasdaq the Nasdaq actually pushing higher good strong week Nasdaq actually closing at a new record high so on the 100 so that is more bullish and the Dow uh, also just recovering somewhat but still nowhere near its uh, start of the year high and the Russell 2000 index the broader based uh, US market was down very slightly on Friday so uh, just uh, struggling to um, push higher. The futures this morning, the uh, they're fairly flat. We're up 0.1% on the S&P and 0.14% on the um, Nasdaq E-mini. So very hard to guess which way the market's going to open. Uh, Europe, a bit subdued this morning. Um, poor, uh, relatively lower numbers out on Chinese uh, GDP. So that's having a little effect on, on Europe. Uh, we're seeing the mid-caps pushing a little bit higher. Uh, the DAX also just pushing higher um, and um, <coughs> the cat current uh, just fairly flat. Uh, Japanese market um, was stronger overnight uh, so up quite strongly there up 1%. Uh, the Hang Seng um, was just down slightly and the Chinese market on those numbers down 0.6%. So China still struggling and looking bearish, very bearish indeed on the medium and long term charts. Everyone knows that, that China has been my um, my concern for global markets. Uh, looking at the uh, Sensex index, that pushed higher, and the Australian market also just pushing. Uh, I was just down at 0.4%, so um, that's still looking holding on. Brent crude is still bearish in the short term chart after big falls last week, uh, sitting at 74.93, so just sitting in these mid 70s. WTI, much the same, sitting at $70.52, just be was below $70 very briefly last week. Uh, US NAC gas sitting at 277, so really uh, continuing to just fall away, couldn't get above that $3 mark. Looking at gold this morning, sitting at uh, $1,242, uh, so bearish on the short term and medium term charts, still just holding on to its uh, su support on the long term charts. Silver, <coughs> also looking uh, uh, less good on the short and medium term charts and even the long term charts, so silver not looking quite as good as gold. Uh, US 10 year yield sitting at 2.84%, dropped away quite sharply on Friday, um, recovering uh, this morning, but uh, uh, that's it's we are sitting at that 2.84 percent and with some downside targets as low as the two into the 2.7 area Apple was up slightly on Friday 
uh, is still holding on to its bullishness on all three time frames. Amazon, which of course has been the real star, um, was up another just under 1% on Friday. A very strong week to new all time highs for Amazon. Google, um, which has been lagging uh, most of the tech majors on Friday, was up 0.45%, pushing to new highs. So just good news for Google that it's finally starting to break higher. And Facebook, um, now leaving that $200 mark well behind, sitting at uh, 207. Wasn't up much on Friday, but it's looking very strong on all three time frames. And last of all, Microsoft. Um, just looking uh, a little bit stronger, sitting at uh, 105. I uh, remember it was struggling at the $100 mark, now pushing much higher, so Microsoft looking strong. Tech majors really pasting an end to a strong week. be interesting to see how we do this week. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.